Hey, what's up? Got a product in the mail from Personas themselves. I have no clue what it is. I have a clue, but let's check it out. All right, so it happens to be the uh, preamp Bluetooth DP V2 by Personas. This is a two preamp. This has been out for a while, so I'm a little late to it, but I wanted to do a review on this and you know what I mean and, and remind you guys that this is this is available for you guys are looking for that warmth in your sound you know your audio your vocal this is the preamp to buy so you got your, your, your paperwork here and you got your power connection here so this is the preamp here this is the uh, the blue tube the version 2 or the v2 and let's go ahead and open this up so we can take a look get a feel for it from my knowledge everything that i purchase from personas or whatever they send me is always quality this is almost the same design as my my persona studio my, my 192 back here it's, it's got that same texture that same feel that quality is durable got a little weight to it so um, just looking on the back of this thing um, you have two mic pre's here so you could plug in via uh, a TRS cable or a mic line in um, XLR connection here so you got one and two either TRS or the XLR connection is either or and then you have your power connection here all right so looking at the front of this thing it looks wonderful even though it's been out for a while and there's probably a new design for the same idea but I, I still like the fact that it has a VU metering that you can actually see on the box itself and the buttons on it it clicks in feels really good the knobs feel really good it's a little click here for your tube drive turn it off it clicks off which is pretty cool then you have your gain which is uh you can actually feel it like turning it's got like little ridges in there where you can actually feel it and you can kind of lock it into uh, you know increments or whatever so you can actually actually feel that which is also pretty cool and then you have the same for the other side so basically they the these settings mirror each side same exact settings so above here we have your phantom power you got your phase button here you got your pad and you got your 80 hertz button here which is pretty cool i would love to power this thing up okay so one of the things i've noticed right off the bat once i plugged it in you know the, the power adapter in the back i noticed that there's an on and off switch here on the back here it's, it's a switch on the actual power adapter itself so if you need to replace your power adapter you definitely want to consult personas about getting the same adapter because you can't turn this thing on and off through the unit itself there is no on and off switch on here so you want to keep that in mind but right now i'm coming through my sure sm35 which is routed on my head my, my headset mic right now and uh I have the first thing I have activated is the 48 volt because my mic is a condition mic. It needs that power. If I enable the phaser button here, test one, two. I'm not sure if you can hear the difference when I once I press it in, but that's what it sounds like. OK, now I'm uh, deactivated. Here's the pad sound. You probably won't hear anything because the pad is created to decrease the volume in case something is coming in. that's too hot. For instance, an instrument. Right. So. Check one, two, one, two. Yeah, you can't hear anything there. And then the eight hertz, you're not going to notice that much of a difference right now. Um, if you do, big ups to you. You you have great ears. I notice a slight difference or whatever, but, you know, you just have to play with it and see if it's a sound that produces something that you like. So we're going to deactivate that. And then we have the tube drive here, which is if I was to drive this, you're gonna hear an increase in my voice because we are driving the tube and it's gonna sound a little dirty or warm, if you will. It just depends on what you're going for, what type of mic that you have plugged in 
and you you know what I'm saying, and then you know you just you just see see what you like, and obviously here's my game. I could turn it up or down. I'm going to get louder, so keep you know be advised. Check one two one two one two. Um, so I don't need to be that loud right now. Um, I'm good right there. But right now in, in Studio One, I can see that I I'm coming in at uh, maybe negative twelve or so give or take, but I also have my interface that I'm using over here, 192. So keep in mind that the volume that you have set as your input gain there, you know, you just have to play around with which one you want. You know, maybe I can decrease the volume here and in, increase the volume here. You know what I'm saying? It just really depends on what, you, what your taste is, right, in order to get the full effect of it. All right. Now that we have my... My blue baby bottle connected. We're just going to test the audio. Um, this is coming through the second input. And so I'm going to play with the parameters. I sound pretty, pretty low. So I'm going to bring me up. So this is the baby bottle in case you didn't hear me at first. All right. So I brought up some of the gain. And. I'm not going to go so crazy on the gain on my 192. So I'm going to bring it down to like like maybe 20. So I'm 20 on my 192 mobile here. Testing 1, 2, 1, 2. Test 1, 2. I have my tube all the way up. Check 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, like I was saying before, it just really depends. Look like my mic is just. All right. I think that's better. Okay, so, I mean, it just really depends on what mic that you have. Every mic will have a different tone, and your settings will vary according to your equipment, you know. And But we're just doing a test on my voice, seeing how it sounds, how it comes out, testing one, two. And that's just me talking, you know. Of course, it, you know, it, the, the real test comes when you start singing. Unfortunately, I can't sing. So I'm not able to show you what it sounds like when someone starts singing, but I can show you what it sounds like when you're talking through a, a condenser type mic that's used for singing or recording instruments. OK, again, this thing has two inputs, two mic pre's on it. Same settings like the, like the other side. Nothing different. I'm going to turn the tube down some. Kind of in the middle testing one, two, and I feel like the. The tube gave it like a little grunt a little bit. Let's see if we if we was to turn it all the way off. Testing one, two. It's all the way off. Can you hear the difference? Let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Test one, two, one, two. Testing one, two, one, two. I hear a little bit of mids that was added, like a little bit of warmth, you know, because that's what warmth is. You, you get a little... A little a slight mid came in, uh, not so much bottom. Let me turn on this 80 hertz thing. Testing one, two, one, two. Can you hear the difference? Check one, two, one, two. Test one, two, one, two. Turn off the, the tube. Testing now the 80 hertz. Testing one, two, one, two. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's straightforward. It's, it's, it's a tube preamp. You know, I don't, I don't know what else that there's other there's other tube amps that had other features. But this one is straight straight to the point. It gets the job done. It sounds good to me. I like it. And so that's pretty much my unboxing and a quick testing as to what it sounds like. All right. My name is Kevin Ellip from KSound.com. And I apologize if I'm not looking at y'all. It's just hard to. Hard to see you guys. <laughs> Take this mic off. Like I'm about to sing a song or something. But yeah, I am Kevin Ella. Remember, music is art. You the artist. Paint your picture. Check one, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Yeah, it's dope.